Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Peep game. All right, so Fake Paul leading up to his first um, fight with Showtime versus another MMA fighter instead of an actual boxer. You know, Tyrone Woodley. Now, I'm going to do a solo video about Tyrone Woodley, why it's going to be hard for me to root for him and why he's a hypocrite and why he's the Royce the Five Nine of, you know, MMA. But um, nevertheless, Fake Paul is fighting him sometime in August. It's going to be on Showtime. I don't know if it's going to be on pay-per-view. Um, but Jake Paul started talking stupid, talking like a typical, you know, white supremacist slave master. Oh, he should be thanking me for giving him the opportunity. This is his biggest payday. Like, dude, who is you? You a clown. They are, so now, now he want people to worship him or something. Typical white savior, slave master mentality. And don't come on here and say, hey man, you're twisting his words and all. Look, once again, I don't care what you guys think. I done seen that too many times. He should be thanking me. No, Tyrone Woodley is doing you a favor. He's keeping you relevant by selling, helping you sell and promote your fake bogus ass fights with non-boxers from a boxing background. Oh, people go put some respect on my name after this fight. Why? Once again, you ain't fighting a real fighter. Like I said, you want to impress me? Fight Tommy Fury and beat him. But you won't beat him. Like I said before, this is a charade and it's a shame that, you know, Showtime is backing this clown because dude is a straight up clown. He should be thanking me. Mm. Oh, thank you, boss. Oh, thank you, Ma Master Paul, for giving me the opportunity. That, and, and you know what? This is why sometimes black people are hesitant to accept help from people like Jake Paul because that's the problem. They want global praise. They want you to be like, oh, thank you, Mr. Cooper. You good white folks. Thank you, Master Paul. You good white folks. Man, fuck Jake Paul, man. Like I said, I knew he was one of them type of guys, man. Like I said, at the end of the day, he a culture vulture and he a, 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 a clown. He is not helping the sport of boxing. Like I said, he gonna fight another MMA fighter after this. That's what he gonna continue to do. And fight one that's smaller than him. But then when Daniel Cordier said, hey, well why don't you uh, get in the ring and let's do MMA, decline. And when Daniel Cordier was in his face and was looking like he was finna like knock the shit out of him, he was looking like, oh please God, don't let him hit me. Like I said, the dude is fake. He has minimal boxing skills and it would be exposed if he fought an actual boxer with, a, with an actual boxing background. I mean, let's just keep it a buck. He should be thanking me. And I wanna make this clear. For the people that don't like what I have to say when it comes to these type, type of videos, this type of content, don't watch my channel. I told you I don't cater to y'all. I don't care about y'all. I don't care about your opinion. I have my de demographic. I have my targeted audience. I mean, you could happen to listen and you know, either you're going to like it or you're not. The only thing you can do is thumb it down. Like I said, I don't make my videos for y'all. Y'all opinion is not valued here, especially if you don't look like me. Take it however you want. He should be, he should be thanking me. So now Jake Jake Paul, AKA Fake Paul, think he the white savior. Oh, this is his biggest payday. This is his biggest payday. Man, shut your ass up. For real, culture vulture. This your boy Town Biz, and I'm out yet again.